First Church, Russ here. So I am in beautiful Buckystown, Maryland, which is up in the, uh, I call it the foothill area. And if you're from Georgia and Carolina, you know, and you got the roots like we do, we love the mountains. That's our stomping grounds every weekend. We get a chance. And of course we got a Jeep, so we love going on them back roads. And although our GPS always takes us on the longest, most confusing routes, they're always also the most pretty routes. Today, on the way here, we are going to Chartreuse and Company. So if you ever go to Bucky's Town, look for Chartreuse and Company. It's a little market that's every weekend. And they have your typical food, man, of the fall. Man, they got donuts, they got cider, they got homemade pressed fries, they got sweet potato fries. And they have arts and crafts, they got snowballs for the youngins. But uh, they also have glass and pottery, they have all kinds of things, worth the trip. And it's not really that crowded, it's outdoor venue, wear your mask, you pretty much be safe, for the most part, right? But today on the way here, uh, you know, of course, we always try to come later in the day because we figure it's less crowded. Today, our GPS took us down this road called Peter's Road. And so we went down Peter's Road, which is kind of like a washed out road, you know, rock and gravel, crush and run type of road that uh, maybe is maintained by probably the local farmers. Although most people probably wouldn't venture down it with a car, we had a Jeep so we easily, uh, you know, circumvented and navigated that road pretty easily. But halfway through the road, I got stuck uh, because, lo and behold, there was a young couple who was broken down in a Ford Mustang right in the middle of the road. I couldn't go backwards. They couldn't go forwards and vice versa. So I was reminded, you know, from Hebrews 13, 16, and do not forget to do good and to share with others for such things and sacrifices pleases God. Now, why I say that is because... Of course we wanted to get to the destination we're at now because we always love walking around the market and taking our time we don't like to rush but my gps took me down this road and at first it's like ah you know maybe lost but then became lost kind of fun lost you know and this couple they didn't have no means to get anywhere they weren't from the area so of course you know i went and got gas um brought back some gas for them car wouldn't start figured it was probably the throttle plates or something different so then we figured out it might have been the battery. So all these local people started showing up, local farmers, you know, bringing gas cans and they show up on four wheelers and walking down from the hillsides. And eventually we got them on their way. So that little detour eventually got us to our final destination, which was grand. But sometimes we need that, right? So thank you guys. Hope everything is going well. And if you get a chance to get up this way, try it. You're going to love it, man. Get out there and be adventurous.